Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're shut up. We're on episode 11. We're in Shady Bell still, so let's. Actually, I need to connect. That's a perfect time to connect my controller. Alright, there we go. I was heading to camp, so we just rescued Jack. Well, I say rescued Jack. We just got Jack back from. Um, uh, what's his name? I can't remember. Let's go do a Jose mission. I can't remember the guy's name. Angelo Baronti. There you go. Pluck that out of my mind. Hey, Arthur. Come on. The gilded cage. We're gonna cage. make it to this party. We yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Just drink my tea. <laughs> <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Shit. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Mm. Follow me, gentlemen. People look at him when they start really hard trousers. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, oh, you respect. fucker. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Oh, let's go up here. Beautiful house, though, let's be honest. There's old marble. Jesus. Oh, I don't allow guns, but he can have guns. Ah, the angry cowboys, you arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, <laughs> this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I mean, hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, 
We're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> Most bounty well, hunters, he wants fucking hired killers. <laughs> Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. Very slimy. Kindly follow me. What's in there? Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Anita. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Unless it's information, of course. Jose, you go find us someplace. Who's on the mail? I'm the wolf. Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out. Who's on that phone? Who was his name? Milton. No, it's my ear. Gentlemen, be well. Fine evening, gentlemen. Take one. Why not? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> Ferdinand. Not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. I'll say you and me cool off. Why am I just grabbing him? Keep hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. <laughs> Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin. I'm back. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, lovely. Very nice. These people are scum. My lord, they're fantastic. Just looking down on everyone. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. 
Uh, Mr. Hopkins. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Mm -hmm. yes. Find out what. Sure. Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Mm. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? Oh. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. Just this is a final her. warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. So rapid, why is he? Oh, what's that? I need a key. Or not. Caught one off, huh? Mr. Bonds Leviticus or something? Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Excuse me, sir. That was nice and easy. I don't remember it being that easy last time. <laughs> Here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some. We'll just bump into like Cornwall as we're walking out. Well, that's the service, but not yet. The city area, see that it was like racking and stuff, and there were ingredients on top. We're gonna leave, 
That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Let's go get our weapons back. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. My all them life. folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hey, everyone. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. I wonder what those papers are. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling <laughs> reconnaissance on the bank. He Ooh. and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. What about the stuff in Blackpool? Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. Well, we're getting there, aren't we? Oh, what's that? Zoological compendium. I've got a note here as well. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very no, confusing. No, I don't want to see you. And I see now. Let me walk around and deal with the shit for you. Good Hello, morning, Jack. Arthur. Morning. Why do I look wet? Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Abigail. I'm sorry, Abigail. This place could be really nice. I say we're only meant to be here for a few days. Let's go and do this one. Make sure you stay close. Mary May. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Miss it. I say well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm, just about. So, no regrets. Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Typhoid? Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? 
Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, Jesus. we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. <laughs> Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes and quit. Oh, I want to go to Rhodes. No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Well, it's a problem now. Yes. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremen's hassling her and Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. Do you don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent Young as you Tilly might Jackson. think. Young Tilly Jackson? But like I say, she Honestly, since I've been playing herself. this game, all she I've been doing is watching with us right after cowboy that. stuff or I just hope stuff in this sort of tied. era. I can't stop doing the accent if as well. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Eviscerate? Where are these big words coming from? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all oh, the I was too busy trying to look at the house. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Thank you. I swear, half of you were just rotten your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Fuck's sake, I've only got my revolvers. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What do you want? Time, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know. That for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. All right. Oh shit! I didn't react quick enough. It wouldn't let me shoot him though. <laughs> I killed me for fun, you see, just blow the back of a fucking head out. Quick, Arthur! They probably hurt. Shit! What the hell you think you're doing? I don't have my gun out. Are you going in there or not? Ah! Shot me in the chest. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, along, miss. Thank you both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Don't worry, I'll be just fine. <laughs> now catch that bastard. <laughs> You're gonna fucking 
shoot someone. So we can all have a nice little chat. No problem. Head over there now to check she's okay. <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> What's a fucking dickhead? What's the guy over there? Oh, okay, let's bucket out. Let's go. Oh, fuck yeah. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? Watch Shut up. Get off me. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This coward. Go to hell. This rope is cutting into me. I won't be a problem so enough. good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed me. Alright. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. The stone. Do you want... So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. Did you see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. I don't believe him for a second. History is never done. She's gonna kill him. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. I'll do what Tilly wants. Let's get you home. I'm doing what Tilly wants. Get out of here. If they come back, I'll kill them all. I want to get my horse back. It's all that camp. Where's the other missions? So the other missions are just all the way there. Maybe I can go into. It's probably not the best place to go. Roads, but. Let's see, do I have any bounties that need paying? Yeah. Oh, whoa, ho, ho. It's a fucking high bounty. What did I do? I didn't realise I was right here. You know, I just looked at the map. I didn't realise I was here. Probably just get the train into. So. Shut up. Out of the way! Oh, hello. Been a while since you were around this way. <laughs> oh my. You are a bad person. Let's go to St. Denny. Alright, here. Thank you. A A little bit of fast travel, why not? Right around everywhere. Am I meant to be sitting in the seat behind or something? What's going on with the camera?
Oh, please tell me my horse comes with me. Just a horse, any horse, it doesn't matter. This area is too built up for that. Thought it was like the Grand Hotel or something. Eh? Sprinting all the way down to Trelawney. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't even know that I'd fucking steal it. Fuck's sake. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Kill anybody. Ooh. Well, my plan to get to Saint Denis nice and quick was uh, ruined by myself. Pony and now I've got to pay it all up again. I managed to come all the way back to camp. That is fucking ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. Where's my horse now? This is the spare horse, this big white one. Yeah. Right. So we're going to go to Dutch anyway. So I think to pay my bounty, I'll have to go there. So I might get caught again on the way. I'm not gonna fight, I'm gonna get my bounty even higher. I'm literally just gonna let them do whatever they want. Shoot me, fucking tell me that I need to pay a bounty, whatever. Oh, I didn't realize how close this was. 
I didn't realize this was kind of like a little right here. Games looks incredible. Good girl. Good girl. Are you out of your mind? Saint Denis. Yep. That's a good girl. Yeah, the bounty's quite high. Oh. A twenty dollar bounty is worth killing me for, especially this day. Twenty dollars is a fucking lot of money. You doing good, girl? Mm. Senor. Hello, senor. <laughs> anymore. Get out of it. This is the one. It's been with me from the start. Hey, I got a base somewhere. Hitch this horse up here and then we'll go do draw all these things. I just want to pay off this uh this bounty. I don't want to be hunted down whilst I'm meant to be doing missions. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. There you go. Thanks, partner. S.A. Who's that? It's another mission we've got to do that. Right, note to self, don't steal shit in this town because it goes to shit for a week. Dear boy. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. <laughs> Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Oh, God. I'm not a fan. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. 
You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. This is gonna go the wrong. Suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. Mm. I hope so. Come on. Yeah, so do I. I preferred like the start of the game. This has been different? very boring. I would enjoy being in Saint Denis. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? He's cut my hair before. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Let's do a full style. Extra clean shaven. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. I am looking Come very on. dapper. Let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Look at this. Last time I got the coach got in a lot of trouble. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit <laughs> much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of yeah, good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. <laughs> well, let's not speak too soon. What money am I playing with? Don't oh, worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. That is the one that's just poker at the top. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, Don't step over me. Let me any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Not my guns. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes. Believe me, I heard every word. What this was. Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. This is like a house. Well, there they are. It's fucking huge. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Well, come on, gentlemen. Yeah. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drink oh, by the way, he's walking around. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I don't Good have time. any guns. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. 
These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now, this is the most animated I've seen in Alpha. But don't Other lose money's too angry. much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Where's Strauss anyway? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Okay, let's play some poker, boys. I thought let's play poker. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Fly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but... Yes, you should have. Does he even call my bluff? Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with you. Now, nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. <laughs> Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Yeah, he was shaking his head no at me, so... Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Oh, good. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? Oil. I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know... I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. Shit! Oh, press oil, Mr. fall by accident. I think you have a future on the stage. Shit! You sound just like my wife. I didn't mean to. I could have just taken all of his fucking money there. Time to put your money where your mouth is, Mr. Callahan. I like a confident man, Mr. Blythe. I'll, uh, raise. All that. I'll just chuck it all in. Here goes nothing. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. He, he shook his head yes at me. Interesting. Hey! Shit! Shit! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. I see him. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play, as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man. Oh like God! You. 
course, took my cross path. Name. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. <laughs> Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Give it a watch. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Got a thousand of it. Uh, out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. No problem. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. How did I, I can cannot get believe that someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but Jesus. You know, I've got my own little lawgiver right here. My Very own good. little lawgiver. <laughs> Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Jesus. Yeah, I know, I know. This guy I think hates Mexicans, like hates black spot, people. Sir. I saw it earlier and Welcome it to the West. really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Thank you. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've only got six bullets. Idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. I think here. everyone heard that. Looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Let me pick up that fucking thing. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. This is gonna go sideways. Sounded like one. Come on. And this is gonna go real how sideways. Exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. Lifeboat. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish. Ooh, an outfit, I look. Champagne glass, bro. All us dressing up as dancing girls, can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope Off you get into fun, it, no? sir. <laughs> In the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a noble chief, and I you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, shit. Come on, Arthur. You gotta get out of here. 
No, I ain't. Oh, he just fucking dodged right out of the way of that. Stamina for swim for too long. I've got a fish in a barrel and just lean over the side and bam bang. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> so, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. He would have kept that. That's one of these weird cutscene things again. Add it to my journal. Not bad, not bad. We should. Whilst we're here in town, Dutch mentioned that the game might be able to help with the middle of the officials. Okay, so we can do that mission. Who's this? Oh, it's Sadie. So where's the... Oh, there's, there's the general store. So let's go to the gunsmith first. Because to be fair, I think I can clean my guns. I can't bother do it myself. I might have, actually have to. But I think I can get to clean it. What the fuck? Hey, look out. Shut up. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Schofield. There you go. I can see you look after your firearm. Grip. I have some better quality components some if you're looking for the best. Oh, yeah. No, I like them how they are. Accuracy is going to be like through the roof now. I'll keep it how it is. Let's get the other one on there. Let's clean it. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Another pearl grip. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? I'm doing it now. And then the iron sights. That'll give you a real edge. And then, actually what I will do is I'll buy some ammo for it as well. Glad to see you're taking look, care of it. So many people don't. Oh, okay. So that Springfield rifle. So this repeater. So we'll clean this and then we'll upgrade I this can repeater. See I, you look after your firearm. I could fit some different stocks for you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. The You'll notice the quality of thing. the workmanship. I don't want to scope on it. It'll ruin it. Ah, that doesn't, that doesn't change nothing. That's you got level no up. regrets with that decision. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. You can't see it though. I would, you just can't see it. Oh, I need to buy some ammo. 
Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? I do now. And a bolt action rifle is my other main weapon. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can give you some better some options previous. for the sights. Because this weapon is incredible. I have some better quality components no, if you're looking for the best. We'll get leather wraps on this You will well. feel the difference right away. And ammunition. Because and will you be needing any ammunition? I think that's about all we use, to be fair. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there. If you like, let's make a good price. Only eight dollars. You see the church across the street? Father O'Leary carries a gun, a Dellinger. There you I go. sold it to him. Just in That's case we got the ammo that we need. We've upgraded all of our shit. Let's leave here. Hello. Yep. Shops unusual activities. I've heard something about the one in Rhodes that there's a guy in the basement. I saw that on like a old video from years ago. Got a real problem, haven't you? Look out! Oh, first time. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Got some local cheddar if you're interested. I just want loads fine. of food. Now let's have a look. Good, good. Which buy like a fuck ton of stuff. Buy everything that we can. <clears throat> okay. And then there should be stuff in here for your horse that you can get. Is it okay? Yeah, so for your you horse they're really good. I think. So you can feed these to your horse as right. well. These as well. All yours. There you go. Because we're not getting like massively into the game and camping and all that stuff. Look as long as you want. I don't really need to worry about all the other stuff. All I need to do is just That's make sure I've got enough stuff to heal myself, heal the horse. Where are they? Come Should we go do this um, question mark thing? Do look really good now. Homes for the blind. Shut up. Good girl. He's around here somewhere. Here he Hello. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. He's a writer. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason <laughs> you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. 
And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people before you. Oh, see, so we saw the people stuff, yeah. anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. Like Connor, I'm sure. Great. And now I Charles am sounds like we are to be moved like again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall Ooh, oh, and the Leviticus state government again. claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? You said what? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. Yeah, it's out near um, very grateful Cornwall's for your place. help. Gentlemen, had an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Sorry, Come along. Young man. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Flies near Cornwall kerosene and talk. Told you. Ah, uh, you good girl? Let's go back to camp. Let's do this last mission. I think I'm gonna call it. No idea how long I've been recording for. It feels like ages. Shut up. Ooh, that was close enough, I think. Yeah, that's my girl. Zoom pause there. these tobacco fields and seeing all this shit up and down. He's dying. Oh shit. Hey mister, can you help me? Leave me alone. All these people. I'm, I said it in like the last episode, the episode before, I need a counter of all the things that I've ran over or hit mid-flight. Who's there? It's me, Earth. Look who's back. I've been busy in the big city. When are we moving? Oh, let's see. How you doing, Mr. Zedler? 
How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. <laughs> oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse bring us? It, bring you gonna Sadie. Let me come robbing with you, yeah, Dutch? Exactly. My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. <laughs> I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Sadie. Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends Fuck if Michael. you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> what is that? Is that Kieran? It's Kieran! What the hell have they done to me? Fuck. Hey, the tree line. Oh. Everybody take cover! Oh, little more the boys are coming! Oh, Driscoll. Oh, you do it to me. Okay, fuck. Honestly. I don't need to touch her, we'll be dead by the time we get close enough. Look at that. Sadie! 
try to shoot the boats if they fall in. I mean, I can make that. Oh yeah, shut up, fuck, I can make that. I am, but I'm kind of pinned down right now. Oh my god. We got him running. What he do? Hold back. They was ready for us. Cowards. <laughs> we okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace Same near but not about. too near? Of course. Charles. Help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Is there blue? Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. What is the opportunity? I'm not sure I get you. you will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. We are gonna need to run. That poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna leave that here. Uh, that's been a good little playthrough there. Got quite a lot of missions done a lot of story so if you guys did enjoy please like and sub and hit that bell button see when i next upload some more red dead or some horror stuff whatever you're into i'm doing it i'm doing everything at the moment um yeah hope you guys enjoyed catch you in the next one Bye.